Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this week's Live in Leesburg, where every week we take you behind the scenes of one of our different departments or services provided to you in the town. Today, we are standing outside of Tuscarora Creek at the Stream Restoration and Flood Mitigation Process. And with me, we have Renee and Andy, who are gonna to talk to us a little bit about the project, what it is, what's taking place, and what we can expect moving forward. So this project being a stream restoration and flood mitigation project was put into our capital improvement program because after the post Isabel storms, we had eight to 10 townhouses that had two to 18 inches of water in their basements. So part of this project is to protect the townhomes along Shenandoah Street in the Virginia Knowles subdivision from flooding during 100 year storm events. So part of the project will be realigning the, the creek and adding plantings to the stream to help with the stream restoration portion of the project it is related to our MS4 pro permit through the state and meeting our Chesapeake Bay requirements for the reduction of nitrogen, phosphorus, and sediment from the stream channel. So with this project, it'll be about a year long project and we hope to have it completed around June of 2020. Okay, now Andy, can you tell me a little bit about when exactly this project became, you know, got underway and what's taking place right now if someone were to walk by in question? Sure, so right now we've started the project about uh, two weeks ago. And the first step in the process is we have to get with um, Loudoun County government, who's in control of the phase one and two erosion and sediment program. And we have a pre-construction meeting with them to get um, our certain permits that we need to get the project started. Um, once that's done, then we have the contractor and all of us meet, and then we can start the process of uh, putting in the silt fence and all erosion controls for the project. Mm -hmm. And once that's in place, um, the safety fencing and all the silt fence, um, then we go ahead and start on the, uh, the clearing limits, um, which is, involves getting all the trees cleared that are required to be cleared to be able to do the project. And um, which is what we have done so far for the project is broken up into phase one and two. And on the uh, west side of Harrison Street is the phase one project. And right now we've, we've cleared the trees and we're in the process of chipping all the, all the timber and cutting it up. And then we're also in the process of getting our pump around set up where we have to control the stream, uh, the creek upstream. And we have to be able to take the water off of uh, the, where the work area is going to be and divert it through a pipe they will be come down towards the bridge here and uh, basically take all the water and bring it around so that the area where we're working is going to be somewhat dry mm -hmm. and be able to start working on the stream. Um, the other thing is um, we've also put in our construction entrance so that we uh, keep the road clean and, and uh, during the process. Okay. Now this is not the only section. How far does this creek actually go? So phase two is on the uh, east side. Which is what we're looking at right now. What we're looking at right now. And this will go past the, um, the uh, car wash, um, the Catoctin car wash, and go around the corner there down to uh, Oakview. Okay. And it roughly goes probably about 500 feet past the Oakview uh, court um, at street down that way, so mm -hmm. it's okay. a pretty good uh, length of uh, creek that we have to deal with going to the east. Okay. Now we do have a playground right here. Is that going to be closed at any point for this project? No, the playground no. Okay. won't be closed. We'll leave that open to the public. Okay. And are there any other safety precautions that you would like the public to know about during this project? Um, let's see. So for the safety, as far as, um, well, one part of the street, just making sure we're keeping everybody safe as they drive through and keep their speeds down. Mm -hmm. um, the, the creek itself, um, we will be, we will be uh, obviously another uh, part of that is making sure that the embankments and the, uh, the banks of the creek, mm -hmm. that's one thing we'll be taking care of so that if anybody that's going near the stream in the future or, the, or near the creek to do anything like fishing or just walking near 
Um, that's the other part where we, we will uh, draw, step the banks back, regrade, and make sure that they're safe for the public. Okay, wonderful. And if anyone wants to learn more about this project, including an updated timeline, they can just visit our website, correct? That is correct. All right, so that is www.leesburgva.gov. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Uh, is there anything else that you guys wanted to add regarding this project that we should know about right now? I don't think so. Okay, no. all right. Well, thank you guys so very much for your time. Again, if you have any questions at all regarding this project, its timeline, what's taking place, why it's taking place, again, feel free to post in the comment section below. Um, you can also reach out to us by emailing or calling Town Hall. Uh, until next time, we will see you back here for Live in Leesburg. I'm Leah Kozen, Public Information Assistant for the Town. See you next time.